In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create our custom border around our chart area. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to add a custom border in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to get our default code, which you can find on Chart.js3.com, getting started, the link here, and you can find this link as well in the description box. Once you're on the site, scroll down, copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. So then paste that in there, cut that out, and then I'll just paste that in here. There we are. Save, refresh. So now we have a nice chart here. But what I want to do here, first of all, is to remove the default border. Because you can see, if you really watch carefully, this border here is slightly darker compared to the grid lines here. And the reason why, because there's like what we call a border on top of it. So let's remove that. So then I'm going to say here, comma, and I will say a draw border, which is by default set on true. We're going to set this down false. If I save this, Pay attention here, this is on the y-axis, so look at this border here, refresh, and I'm not sure if you notice, slightly, slightly color different. Anyway, this is very important to have. So the same what I will do here, I'm going to put it here, enter, and go to here, x-axis, just remove this one, we can just, this one is no needed, and then put a comma here, save, refresh. There we are, so now both sides are deleted. So now what I want is, I want to create a plugin. So I'm going to say plugins. And then we can say here uh, what would be a nice term for this custom border plugin. Copy that. And then we're going to say here uh, slash slash this. Call this the plugin block, uh, block. And then we're going to say here constant custom border equal ID. And then we put in this. And I'll just skip that because we'll be using that anyway. And then we're going to say here, what is the drawing time? So there's two options here. I'm going to show you the first one now after we're going to convert it into another one. So I'm going to say here, uh, before data sets draw. So before the data set has been drawn, we want to put in this borderline covering from basically covering here like a canvas around it or like a border around the entire chart. So in here, three uh, parameters, the chart, the arcs and the plugin options and what I'm going to do here is what we call object destructuring I'm going to get this chart object and I will destructure that so I'm going to say constant this equals that and if you want to understand what object destructuring is please check in my description box a video understanding object destructuring in chart chairs very very useful to know so I'm going to say ctx here and then I'm going to grab the chart area and I'm going to say here Top, bottom, left, right, width, and height. And if you want to understand what chart area is, again, in the description box, you can find a video about understanding chart area in chart chairs. Also, very, very crucial to understand. So now we have all of this. We can now start to work on drawing the item. So what I'm going to say here is just ctx.save. We indicate to save all variables above that we have. And then what I want to do here is I want to say ctx.begin path. This would indicate that we have we are creating now a new shape or item or object that is independent from anything else. So we don't want it to be connected to something else. This is very important to have. So then what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to say here the line width. So how many pixels will it be? Well, let's say it's three pixels for now. Later on we can adjust that. And then what I want to do here is uh, the starting point. So what we want to do is we want to draw from this corner and then we have to go to that corner, to there, to there, and then up. To do this, we have to first say what is our starting point. Our starting point will be this point here. So we're going to say here ctx.move2, which would indicate where is the official starting point. And this consists of two variables, an x and y variable. Luckily, we're using here the chart area variables, which would help us because basically here the left side is this this bar here or this line here and the top would indicate this top line here so basically we already have most of the information we can say here left and here top so once we did this what i want to do now is i'll say ctx at line two and here again same x and y value so this one here indicates the starting point this one here 
really draws the line, but imaginary or preparation of. Because it will not draw the line once we do this yet, but it will know where the line needs to be drawn. So what I'm going to say here, I want to go from here to there, which is basically on a vertical level, I'm not moving. So I'm going to say here, this is still top, but we're going now from here to there, or basically from this point to here. So we need to get here the width of the chart area. So I'm going to grab this, the width, and I'm going to say the top. And now what I want to do is, I just want to say CTX, and I'm going to say here, uh, stroke to draw the item but i realized i forgot to give it a color so if i save this let's see if it even works there you are it does work and then interesting enough here it has this i guess we can maybe even make this a, a, a right position that would make more sense sorry instead of left so let's set up the width so there we are that's basically what we need so the reason why we are missing a part because it will calculate this part here as well and that has a sort of thing because we have we need to put in the pixel amount or the exact coordinate where we want to stop it. So in this case, it was the right side. So my bad. Anyway, let's go down to the top. Well, not down. Next one. So we have CTX line two. Next part will be on the right side, but then we need to go down here, and this down here is what we call the bottom. This is the bottom line. So in the chart area, that's the bottom. So we say here bottom. I save that refresh there you are so now if you remember we had a line width of three and I realize that this is not even spelled correctly horrible save refresh all right that's better line width of three but here somehow it will not work don't worry we're going to fix that later on then next one is going here so what I'm going to do here CTX that line to let me say here we go to the left comma bottom save there we are finally we have to go up here but for the up we don't have to do anything because we have this begin path here and we can do another command which means not begin path but closing the path which will close the line refresh there you are so it will automatically close for us so there's two things I still want to do or maybe three let's give it a nice color let me grab this color here and put it in here enter so the ctx dot then we're going to say here stroke style that's the term for it why stroke you might wonder because we're working with a canvas oh sorry that's my bluetooth because we're working with a canvas the canvas is basically a painting so when we talk about a stroke it's a line why because with your paintbrush you make a paintbrush stroke so that's why it talks in the term of painting anyway that's it. So if I save this, refresh, now I have the color. Let's solve this. And then maybe you didn't notice that here, we have to solve that issue as well. So uh, let me just change the color here. And we can change this one. I'm just going to duplicate it here. Because you might not notice it now because they have the matching color. If I save this, refresh. You see here, look at it. You can see the bar is the black line. Is still on top of it and this doesn't look nice all right so we're going to solve that as well but let's solve this first here so in here we have three pixels what we see here it's being shaved off or clipped off basically two pixels being clipped off because we'll only see one pixel here because the others are basically what we would say out of sight so it, it assumes it's outside here maybe if this would be 700 pixels maybe 701 and 702 so that would mean we need to reduce this right a bit how many? It's two pixels. Why two? Because we have one is shown, but the other two are not. Save, refresh. Here we are. That looks better. Now let's solve this. How do we do this? Well, we could change the colors, but basically we have to change this here. Instead of before, I want to say after the data set has been drawn, then I want the, the drawing of these borderline. If I refresh now, you can see here now the borderline is on top and the background of the bar lines are at the back of the borderline. That's exactly what I wanted. And this is basically how you can play around and create your own custom border here in a canvas. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to have, for example, grid lines, having like shorter grid lines here or even customize these here, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this specific video here, which is this one here, how to add short grid lines on the Y scale, but also I have another one on how to add short grid lines on 
the X scale. So these videos I would highly recommend as well if you want to customize the grid lines as well and make your chart look far more unique.